Shaman. What's, what's, what's going on, YouTube? Washington. This is what, 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 Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Jamari already four here once again. Uh, ooh, excuse me. That was so rude. But <laughs> we're here for another episode of the Washington Post. I believe this is episode nine or ten. And um, I wanted to use this series just to kind of bring you stories, whether they be serious or funny, that I come across um, on the internet that I feel, you know, interesting to talk about. And the story that I'm bringing to you today is... A story of triumph, a story about forgiveness, true forgiveness, justice, and how good God is, okay? There is, okay, this was back in 19, I believe this uh, was occurring in 1998, okay? A man by the name of Brian Stewart, okay? Brian Stewart was married to his wife. And Brian Stewart, wait, is it like, no, they weren't married. Brian Stewart had a baby with a woman, okay, baby mama. And they had a son who was Brian Jr. And in an effort to stop from paying child support, to, to his baby mama, not even so much paying for the baby. It was the baby really wasn't even so much the problem. It was the mom that was the problem. So in order for him not to pay her any money, he decided to inject HIV infected blood into his 11 month old son in effort so that it would eventually die and he wouldn't have to pay her child support. What kind of fucked up, twisted shit is that? Do you not have any idea how serious HIV is and you're going to inject this into a fucking child? Oh, Jesus, I tell you. I, Lord. And then, what made it just more heart, you know, wrenching is the fact that, okay, by the, they said by the time that he was about five years old, the, medis the uh, side effects from the medicine had caused him to go partially deaf. Okay. And as he was growing up, it had become full-blown AIDS, and he was highly considering killing himself. But instead, he turned it around, and he used it to say, okay, I know this happened to me, but what, how can I do, what can I do to, to turn this around into a positive? And this is what I said, what happens when God is good, okay? He ended up forgiving his father for what he did. His father still went to prison for life because his mom said that he threatened her with a syringe of HIV before when it came to paying child support. So he was threatening t to really inject your child with one of the most deadly viruses known to man. And this is a baby. This is an 11-month-old baby. They don't know what the hell's going on. They haven't even had a single chance at life yet. And But because you want to be a bitter motherfucker and not pay your dues and not take the responsibility that you did when you laid down with this bitch, okay, you have enough, you know, you man enough or whatever to lay down and have sex with somebody, but when they give you a child, you know, in response to that, oh, now, mm-mm. And it's not even like you had to HIV? You want them to die a slow death of AIDS? You deserve to be raped all day, every day by the biggest dick in that prison. Okay? Now, this happened in 98. Mind you, it's been about 10 to 15 years, and I hope your walls have just come down, bitch. I hope that you just have to wear three pampa diapers just to walk around, bitch, because your whole, like Nene Leak said or Housewives, is just falling out your body, okay? I hope, you know what, I almost want to say worse things, but you know what, I'm trying to exercise my Christianity, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it like this anyway. I think it would be very ironic if while you were in prison and if you were to get raped, you were contracted, you contracted HIV your damn self. And wouldn't it would just be karma? 
<laughs> it would just be nothing but pure, unadulterated karma because your motherfucking ass decided that it was okay to inject your 11-month-year-old baby who had nothing to do with what you and your mama got going on with one of the most deadly human-made viruses just so that you don't have to pay child support. But the silver lining is they told um, the young son, his name was Brian Jr., that he was only going to have about five months to live after he became full-blown AIDS around the age of six. Well, guess what? He's 20 years old. He's in his 20s now. His T cells are up. He still has minor. He still has, you know, that minor deafness, but his T cells are back up. He uh, has been shown undetectable for the HIV virus throughout the past five years, and shows as a zero percent chance to pass on the disease. So fuck you, motherfucker, who tried it, because this man turned it all the way around, and now he's, excuse me, his health is actually benefiting. So you failed. And I just thought that was an amazing story because it just shows like even when somebody just tries to break you down and do you just so maliciously, God will turn it around. Because when people are given HIV, people feel like HIV is a death sentence. And in some cases it can be. But when you, I just, I just felt like, you know, when you got God on your side, he can do anything. His T cells came back up. He lived an additional 20 years more than he was supposed to. He's showing undetectable blood. And I just say that is nothing but Jesus, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm so serious. But I just thought that would be an interesting story for you guys. I didn't know this would be a, a, a long video. But I wanted to come and just start sharing these interesting articles that I find on the internet. Let me know what you guys think about this story in the, uh, in the comments below. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Like, share, subscribe. Washington, Washington, Washington.